In today's Madden 21 video, we are going to be breaking down why I believe Henry might have the best defense in the MCS right now. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now if you've never been to my channel before, uh, what we do here is we do Madden 21 tips and tricks breakdowns that are designed to help you get better. And one of the latest things that we've been doing is we've been breaking down some of the pro tactics, the tournament tips that some of these elite players are using to win their MCS tournament games. And um, I'll tell you what, if you've never been to my channel before, I'd highly encourage you to subscribe. We do four videos every single day that are designed to give you some kind of tactic, tip, or concept that you can use to improve your game in Madden 21. Now, one of the things that I wanted to do today is, I'll tell you what, there were some really, really, really great players that played their tournament games this week. And this guy right here has been my favorite player to watch in Madden for the last two years. And the reason is not necessarily just because of his offense. We all know that Henry has a great offense. But what you're going to find in this defense is I actually believe, or in, in today's video, is I actually believe his defense is much, much better than his offense. Um, his uh, friends nicknamed him the glove, uh, Gary Payton, because of his lockdown ability to be able to play defense in Madden. And he comes out with a little bit of a unique way of running a very popular uh, defense in Madden 21. Now, Henry, as we all know, is in the 818 crew. Now, if you don't know what the 818 crew is, that's guys like Young Kiv, Wesley, Henry, and others. Uh, these guys are going to run primarily gun bunch, and they're going to run nickel 335 wide. Um, but what you'll see in Henry's gameplay is he actually runs this nickel 335 wide a little bit differently than most people do. And uh, we're going to jump into the gameplay here in just a second. Before we do, what I want to do, like I said, we're going to primarily focus in on Henry's defense and how he was able, I believe, to literally box uh, TNC Salty. Now, Salty labs with TNC, a great crew in and of themselves, and Salty is going to be in the Carolina Panthers playbook running a very, very good offense from the gun bunch offset. One of the most popular offenses in Madden 21, maybe potentially the best offense in Madden 21. And what you're going to find, and we're, we're going to see it throughout this game, young Henry is able to completely put this offense in a box, uh, in my opinion, with some of his defensive tactics. And we're going to break down exactly what he was doing. Um, and, and hopefully what will happen is you'll be able to take some of the practices, some of the tips as we go through this, um, and learn from uh, Henry, who... I'm telling you what, man, this guy is incredible for his age. Uh, I love watching his game planning and his ability to play. Uh, so we're going to jump into the video. But if you've never uh, have uh, subscribed to the channel, I'd highly encourage you to do that. And we also have a Discord at the bottom uh, in the description below that you can join where we can talk Madden 24-7. All right, we're going to jump in. And like I said, we're just going to skip ahead here. And we're going to focus primarily on Henry's defense against Salty. Now, down here in the red zone, uh, Henry is going to throw an interception. Now, um, I didn't think it was that bad of a read, to be quite honest with you. I actually thought it was the right read. Uh, uh, but he is going to throw an interception. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to his uh, defensive possessions. And what he's going to do really quickly as he's setting up, kind of they're setting up their audibles, he's going to spend the majority of the game in the nickel 3 through 5 wide. Now, um, I've got the Giants playbook loaded up. We're going to break down exactly what he was doing in practice mode against the Carolina Bunch. But real quick, what I want to show you here is this first play. Um, this front right here is kind of the base front that you're going to see from Henry. Now, what I want you to notice here, and this is what's unique about his 3 through 5 I noticed that he will move these safeties down basically right off of the outside linebackers. This is genius, and the reason why, because number one, it puts those safeties in a much better position to play some of the better routes that people are going to run against nickel 335 wide. But also, it puts them in a very, very good position to blitz. Now, on this first play right here, um, you see he's got him backed up at the two-yard line. And so what Henry's going to do, again, pressing both of these corners on the outside. And what you'll see is he's going to send the goons, right? He's going to literally blitz uh, one, two, three, four, five, six people at the quarterback. This I've not seen very many people blitz this safety uh, from nickel 3 through 5 wide. Henry's going to send the safety, and the primary reason is because that safety is a man coverage on the running back, and he, he is anticipating 
that Salty is going to block this running back. He's going to send an overload pressure off that edge. Now, everybody's manned up over on this side here, as you can see. And Henry is going to come in with his user to kind of try to get that linebacker held. He does a good job of that. And all he's got to do is jump back in here on this. And Salty does a good job, I think, of trying to hit this post route. He does have the inside position, as you can see right here. I don't know if he got a bad pass lead or what, but he ends up throwing this. And uh, Henry gets a nice swat out of the acrobat and i want to jump over into practice mode and i want to show you um his basic front that he was working with out of the nickel 335 uh wide formation so we're going to jump into practice mode here and like i said salty is going to be primarily in this gun bunch we're going to throw the kind of standard audibles that someone would throw which would be flood uh, smash return pa dig four converts half back under and he's going to be coming out in the double post so we'll be coming out in that right there now under coaching adjustments for henry um what i was noticing i'm pretty sure these are his coaching adjustments again i didn't see them i can't tell you for a fact but this is what i was kind of seeing uh that he was doing here and uh these could be on aggressive or on conservative i think they're probably just on balance i did not notice any zone drops until later on in the game i think he kind of didn't need to do that until later um he might have had these at 25 but i'm not 100 percent sure to be honest with you um, but what we're going to primarily get into is his uh, different pressure packages that i thought was very very effective out of this formation right here so what he had was he had his best pass rushers on the outside um he had his obviously his secondary in here and I'm going to show you this primarily from the perspective of having a Dart of the Savage type of player um, as your user to kind of Im imitate that Taylor Mays uh, user that he was bringing out. And the play that he primarily, I felt like, went to consistently was this Mike Blitz 3 or this Mike Blitz 0. Now, in this situation, he's going to run Mike Blitz 0. Now, what you'll notice is he is basically going to press coverage, and then this is what he does that I think is just brilliant. Um, he's going to shift his D-line to the left, which is typically going to be the weak side of the formation. And then what he does is, watch, he's going to bring this safety down, and he's going to blitz him hot off the edge. This other one, he's going to bring him down, and he might blitz him. He might keep him in man coverage. He might zone him up. He'll do all kinds of different things with these safeties. He'll use his safeties in this formation like kind of like swing defenders, right? Defenders that you can kind of do a little bit of everything with. From there, he's going to shade his coverage um, to protect from the deep bomb with the overtop shade. Um, he's going to crash his defensive line out, obviously, to get that extra edge pressure. Salty on this play is, I think, running uh, some type of uh, just corner, uh, simple corner and post concept. Whoops, we, bump, we bumped a button here. We'll come back out in this. Um, but Salty's just running kind of a basic uh, route combination to get started, trying to get the ball out uh, quick. And what you'll see on this real quick is we just, we're just going to jump in to get the setup to you guys. But you see this, and this is what I, I just thought this was so smart. When you bring these guys off the edge like this, it puts them in a really, really good position to make a lot of different plays. And they can make plays in the run game. They can obviously make plays in the pass game. Um, you can blitz them. You can just do a lot with the safeties off this formation. And uh, as a general rule, you want to get these, you, you, you got it kind of right in, like I said, you know, kind of right here. Uh, so he's going to come off that edge. Now, uh, we'll just show you kind of a basic, um, you know, I don't know. I, I can't remember exactly the route combination. I think it might have been Z-spot with a post and a corner route. Um, but we'll basically just show you. So he had a drag. He had a flat. He had a uh, corner route. And he had a post route. So something like this route combination right here. And he blocked his running back, right? So that's, that's kind of what Salty was doing. Now, to snap the ball, what you're going to see, there's that pressure off that left edge. And then if... if um, Henry would have got back on that post route. That could have potentially been an interception. But already played really, really good uh, tight coverage on Salty. Now we're going to jump over to uh, back to the gameplay here. And we are going to show you the next play that Henry runs. And you're going to see the chess match. And what I thought was so powerful was the way that he mixed and matched his coverages, his adjustments. I just thought it was all spot on. And we're going to jump into it right now. So second down. And 10 for Salty. 
coming out in that bunch offset. Again, Henry's got him backed up on the two, so that's going to determine a little bit about how he's going to play. He might play a little bit more aggressive, try to get a safety. He might There's some things that he can possibly do uh, within this. But what you'll see here is Salty's going to go to this, um, this smash return concept. Now, this is a popular concept, flipping the bunch, flipping the bunch. But because Henry's got his defense set to man align, and he's going to run man coverage most of the time, this guy, as long as he re-man aligns every time that this motion occurs, he's going to follow him you know pretty much the majority of the game now what you'll see here he has brought these safeties into the box to be able to play man coverage he's got the defensive line shifted to the left just like we showed you in the beginning set that's kind of going to be his base front now what you're going to see from salty here is he's going to run a simple flood concept the right he ends up calling a timeout here uh, and we're going to jump through and, you know, this flipping of the bunch is a popular tactic because it messes with your adjustments. It allow, it makes it difficult to adjust, in my opinion. It's a really smart tactic from the gun bunch uh, guys here. And what you're going to see is this is that smash return. Now, what he did, he has a slot apprentice on this guy. So he actually came out and bunch. This is a very popular tactic. He comes out and bunch over here. Puts this guy in a post route, then he flips. The post route will stay. As you can see here, he's got a post route, a drag, and a streak. And he's max protecting. You'll see from Henry once again, we're going to send pressure off this edge. We're going to have basically man-to-man -man coverage across the board. And then you're going to see he's going to bring that user down, trying to occupy this offensive line so that he can get this guy. And he almost gets him right here. Look how deep of a drop Salty is taking. And you'll notice that he does not step up in the pocket. He stays back. If Henry could get just a little bit of pressure off this edge, this would be... Um, this could be a safety, but what you'll notice here, Henry's too far underneath, at least in my opinion, he's playing this drag well, but this window is open, and Salty's going to take it, and what you'll see here is he gets an amazing aggressive catch and um, is going to be able to uh, move the ball down the field and get himself out of that bad position. Now, I want to show you, I want to jump over to game really quick and just show you this one more time. So, Salty is going to come out in the gun bunch, and he's going to come out and it flipped. So he's going to be running the play smash return. It's a very popular play uh, from gun, gun bunches here. There's a lot that you can do with this play, and it's just a very effective play. Now, uh, Henry's going to be running that Mike Blitz zero again. So what Salty is going to do, the basic setup, is he's going to come out. He's going to put his left of screen outside receiver on a post route, and then he's going to flip the play. And you see that that's going to keep that post route on the left side. So he has that nice dominant route on the right. He's then going to max protect, put Godwin on a drag, and or a, a streak, and Brown here on a drag, right? His far right guy is on a drag, his inside slot's on a streak. Now what Henry's going to do, he's going to man a line, uh, press coverage, shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. I love the fact that he's going to bring the safety right off the edge again, and you'll see that uh, throughout the course of this game. Just going to bring these guys down, put them in positions to make plays. You see he's going to do that right here, bring this guy right in here, and what you'll notice at the snap of the ball He's going to come all the way down here, and because he gets stuck on this route right here, Salty is able to get that over the top. Now, what I want to do is just show you an instant replay just really, really quickly here what he's seen and why this is so significant. So, again, we're going to back this camera angle up, and what you'll see is he has to bring Henry to get the blitz to work. He has to bring his user into the box uh, pretty significantly. You see that that right side guy, I don't think, I don't think Henry was anticipating a max protect, um, and so what he sees here is you see Adrian Amos is going to kind of fall into a spy, right? From that point, if, if I was in Henry's shoes at that point, when I see this spy on the field, typically that spy is going to take that drag um, at least for a second long enough. I would be beaming straight back on this post. But again, that's Monday morning quarterback syndrome. Henry couldn't have known that he was going to do that and uh, still able to keep everything in front of him very, very good. So now on this next play, you got first and 10 from, and the ball is on the 23 yard line. And um, Henry is going to go to, I thought this was one of his best play calls um, that he ran. And he goes to this in, in critical moments. But this is such a good way to run this defense. And what you'll see here so Salty is going to go to uh, basically Z spot on the left so you see here um this is i think this is simple z spot from from the carolina bunch he has outside wide receiver apprentice on chad johnson so he's able to put him on the deep angle post routes um but what you'll see here and this is a very unique in my opinion coverage defense from henry but 
Um, it's nothing too crazy on here, but the way that it's disguised and the way that he will use this as the game goes on, you're going to see that this is very, very effective. But basically, he goes to cover two man out of the uh, nickel 335. He sends three people at the quarterback. And he is just going to do a good job here. This click off is amazing. Um, when he sees everything is bagged over the top, he just clicks on. So his guy automatically blitzes at the quarterback. And you see you're going to get that nice throwaway. So we're going to come over here to practice mode. And we're going to break down exactly what Henry did on this play and why this is such an effective defense. So Henry is going to come out, or Salty, um, excuse me, is going to come out in that gun bunch offset. And he's going to come out in the play uh, Z spot, right? And trying to get just a basic flood. If Henry's in his own blitz or his own coverage, uh, this is typically going to work really well. But Henry, up to this point, in my, in my kind of opinion, it didn't really feel like a great call because Henry hasn't really ran a lot of uh, zone yet. He's ran man every play, and he's going to run man again. If you know anything about Henry, at least from what I've seen, He's generally going to play more man than he's going to play zone. Uh, he'll use zone and key, key spots uh, just as change-ups. But anyway, he's going to come out and cover two man. Now, what he likes to do out of the cover two man is he likes to use and leverage the press coverage. So he is going to press coverage, as you can see right here. Same kind of thought process. He's going to shift his line to the left, and then he's going to move uh, these safeties into the box. And what you'll see is this really does put a lot of stress on this because these deep halves are still going to get back against the pass, but they're also going to play really good run defense, and they're also going to disguise really well. You don't know if they're purple zones. You don't know if they're in middle thirds. You, you don't know what they're in. It's harder to understand what they're in on this uh, on this specific um, on this specific coverage. So uh, what you'll see on this play right here, uh, we've got a first down and 10. We're going to take those two guys in. And then this was really smart, I thought. He just took this guy and he put him in a curl flat. And that was it. Honestly, that was it. Uh, Salty's going to block the running back. He's anticipating that. So he's using the guy on the running back, of course. Um, he crashes the line. Uh, I think he might have even crashed the line to the right. But anyway, he just basically, you know, a basic line stunt here on the outside. And you've got everybody manned up across the board. Now what Salty's going to do, again, let me just break down his route combination really quickly. He's got the post route here. He's smart routed this corner, and he's just basically running, you know, a simple flood concept. So at the snap of the ball, really, all he's got to worry about is this route right here. Salty rolls out, he clicks off, and then he's able to get um, a, a nice little pressure uh, and get a throw away in this situation. So the pressed man-to-man -man coverage you're going to see as this game unfolds, Henry is going to go back to this setup again and again and again, and it is going to give uh, it is going to give Salty trouble. So now we have a second down and 10 on the 23-yard uh, line. And we'll see right here what's going to happen. So, uh, Henry, same kind of setup. You're going to see this right here. There's that shift of the line. He's got this guy. Now, typically this guy, like I said, is going to be over. Um, he is going to be over that. Um, and here he does get the pressure to come off. And I want to break this down real quick. Let me back it up just a smidge just so you can see this. Um, but Henry's going to get the pressure to come in right here. So this is uh, second down and 10, and the ball is on the 23-yard line. And Henry's going to go to Mike Blitz zero out of this and send a little bit more man heat. Now, Salty's going to put the running back on a route. First time the running back's run on a route, you see here this is basically, again, he's taking Chad Johnson on the left side, put him on a post route, and then he's flipped his play. He's running a streak, a drag, and a little a little um, in route. This is basically double post. The only route he's keeping is the in route to the back on this play. Okay, so what you're going to see at the snap of the ball here is, as you can see, he's brought these safeties down. Very nice. Brought the safeties down here. Press coverage. And then what you're going to notice is the shading coverage outside and over top. Now, right here, you're going to see there's three. He's sending three off this edge with that safety. Okay, with the safety. He has got these two guys covering this gap right here. Now, Henry does, or um, Salty does block the tight end. So Henry realizes really quickly, oh, I've blitzed the safety. The running back's now going on a route. i got to cover the running back. And you'll see that that's going to happen. You see he ends up taking the running back. And this is just, I mean, it's a tough window. Sal I mean, it shows Salty's got some, he's got some chops on offense. He hits the post route right there um, for a nice gain. And that was not something that was, you know, a great look. And we'll show you that in uh, over here in game film. So, or over here in practice, I'm sorry. 
So what Henry's going to do is he is going to go to Mike Blitz uh, zero. Now what Salty did, like I said before, he comes out in smash return. And what he'll do is he'll come he'll come out in it flipped. He'll put the left side receiver on a post and then he'll flip the play and then do whatever it is he wants to do. Now he was probably in double post uh, for that. I don't know if I have that. Let me see if I I don't think I have that in my book right now. We could come back out and that, but we won't waste that time. What I want to sh what I primarily want to show you here is the post route. And then um, the ability from Salty that I thought was actually really like clutch to stand in the pocket and make a make a read here. So what Henry's going to do, Mike Blitz zero, he's going to do that. He's going to shift that line to the left, crash that line out, bring these guys down. He's going to bring this safety off the edge here, and then this guy he's just going to kind of keep keep kind of manning him up on the tight end. And then he's going to kind of hover right over in this area right here, this little pocket. Okay? So now, and again, he's shading coverage at least over top, but he's probably shading coverage outside and over top. He might be shading coverage inside and over top just because he's trying to play the post routes a little bit better. Um, but what you'll see at the snap of the ball here is, again, he's, he's got to take this guy right here. And you see the only real window that Salty has to throw is that post route and salty was able to hit the post route we'll show you this really quickly one more time in instant replay just so you can get an accurate understanding of what's going on so on this left side because he's thinking the running back is going to be tending to block he is going to you see that it's going to free these this pressure on the left is going to come in a little bit more consistently this adrian amos because he doesn't put the tight end on a route Adrian Amos is going to kind of hang with the drag long enough. Now, um, basically what Henry does is he's just going to take the running back away, um, and he almost gets a sack. And this is pretty much where it was at. And you see right here is where Salty releases this football and is able to hit that post route as he cuts to the inside. So great work by both competitors, I mean, at least in my opinion on that play. But you can tell Henry is really, really close. Like he is right there with him. Um, and he is, he is like right on his neck if I, if, you know, um, from what I've been seeing so far on this drive, Henry's got him. He just can't, um, he just can't get the, you know, he just can't get the stop. So anyway, first and 10 here, ball in the 40 yard line. Uh, what you're going to see is he is going to go to double post now. Actually, I think he might go to flood here. Yeah, he's going to go to flood. And, um, right here, just a simple, uh, crossing route. He's got that out route. And what you'll see from Henry, again, that same pressure, right? We're going to send that same pressure. This is Mike Blitz 3 or Mike Blitz 0. This time, actually, what you'll notice on that, and that's where I talk about those safeties being kind of almost like little hybrid players. And take a look at this right here. So um, what Henry's going to do, he's in Mike Blitz 0, right? So he's going to send this four-man pressure off to left. He's going to send these two guys, and obviously his user is going to be blitzing. Watch what he does with this safety. This is what I'm talking about. He starts to notice that Salty likes to throw the post routes from, from that solo receiver. So the adjustment that Henry is going to make, which I think is genius, um, and it's just very simple, um, but especially with the positioning. Again, the positioning is what makes it, to me, work really, really well. What you're going to notice is he's going to basically try to bait Salty into throwing over the middle of the field, and he's going to take this safety right here and put him on an inside middle third. He's going to drop right into this window right in there that's kind of the goal uh on this play so we're going to basically press coverage uh slide these guys down we're going to place that right of screen safety in a middle third and then we're going to shade our standard coverage and i want to show you the man assignments here now again salty's been blocking the tight end the majority of the game now right here what you'll notice is um another little adjustment that i want to show you really quickly so within this he all one of the things he also does is this guy right here is in man coverage on this guy. So this is actually not like Mike Blitz zero. I'm sorry. This is cover two man because this linebacker is now in coverage. So basically what Henry's doing, he's kind of trying to catch him. He's bluffing the pressure off this left edge. He's just sending the four. He's not sending that additional linebacker. So the pressure is not going to come in. You're going to see um, it's going to get picked up. This is what I think Henry does such a good job of. He will send these passive pressure, these pressures that are kind of almost bluff pressures. He still has everybody manned up, but now he's bringing this guy over the middle of the field to try to hang with this post route and you'll see um he ends up for whatever reason this guy goes with the out route um but anyway as you can see right here he's gonna roll out of the pocket everything is pretty much locked up and you're gonna see um a throw out a sack incomplete pass now one thing i do want you to notice on this back side here 
if you take a look at this cornerback on the left side of the screen, watch some of these adjustments. I just think these are so incredibly good. And this is something that you can really take a page out of Henry's book. If you take a look at what he's doing on this guy right here, essentially what he's doing is he is going to treat this guy. He's going to bracket coverage him. He's not going to man coverage him because he's anticipating that he is going to be on a post route or something like that. And to be honest, he's right. Watch what happens here. This cornerback, watch right here, right there. You see the cornerback's going to leave him. He's in his zone. He's in his zone. He's in an outside third or a deep half. I think he's probably in a deep half. So this deep half is going to go with him so far. And then at this point right here, if Salty were to throw this post route, it would be a very tight window. But you notice that this deep safety is taking the post route. See how Henry's kind of baiting him to try to get him to throw that? That's genius in my opinion. And then he's able, of course, here. Now, Salty does have this crossing route to the tight end. You see the crossing route is wide open. Salty, and you see you – see, um, you can notice if you – I mean, I, you can almost tell he's trying to throw this route right here. That's where he wants to go with the ball. But because Henry has adjusted, now what Salty is going to do is instead of throwing it all the way across his body, which he could have done, he could have standed strong in the pocket and thrown that. But if you notice, this corner right here is sitting there to pick this off. And so he's going to have to just basically uh, try to throw. He makes it right here, and he's trying to hit this. He's trying to throw this route right here. He's trying to throw this route right here. Um, but the pressure is able to get in. And he gets a throw out of sack incompletion. I want to jump over here into game. I want to show you what would have happened if Salty would have thrown the ball over the middle of the field. So on this play setup, Henry is going to cover two man. I just think these are just such good disguises. Um, and has, has he's able to really actually run what I would have considered a scheme. Um, this is just really, really effective. So uh, cover two man. And what we're going to do is we're going to press coverage. We're going to manually slide both of these safeties down again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to take this safety, put him in inside third. We're going to bring this safety down, and we're going to blitz him, okay, right off the edge here. We're going to still shift our line to the left, crash our line out. This time we're going to shade our coverage outside, shade our coverage over top. And we're going to take that left side corner and either put him in an outside third or a deep half. I'm pretty sure he was in an outside third. But um, but uh, I actually really I, I think he wasn't in an outside third. We'll put him in outside third. He could have been in a, a deep half, but I'm pretty sure from what I was seeing, he was an outside third. So you see here we have man coverage across this formation right here, and then our user is going to be right in this little window right here. Now what Salty's going to do is he's going to go to the play flood, and he's going to basically take the tight end, and he's going to put the tight end on a crossing route. He's going to block the running back. And then I'm pretty sure with this guy, I think he just put him on a, a drag, or I can't remember what he actually, let me, let me check that real quick in my notes, what he put that circle receiver on. Oh, I'm sorry, no, he motioned him, yeah, he motioned him over on a drag. So he's going to motion this receiver over. As you see, you're going to get that nice follow out of that mana line. So all I got to do is basically repress it. Now, again, Henry did want to shade his coverage over top. Um, and what you're going to see right here is basically um, – at the snap of the ball, he's going to kind of step into the pocket. Now, if he would have thrown this – whoops, I'm sorry. I forgot to put the post route out there. If he would have thrown the post route, um, you would have seen it would have been picked off. So let me show you again. We're just going to bring these guys up in the box, put them right in these little spots right here, shift this line over, crash it out. We're going to use her, this guy right in this little window. We've got this inside third right there, and then we've got everybody else manned up aside. We're basically kind of bracket and kind of try to bait him into throwing the ball – to the outside um, solo receiver and so what's going to happen he's going to go to flood we're going to put that left guy on a post and we're going to smart route that post route so that it goes a little shallower we're going to put that crossing route from the tight end on the field we're going to block the running back and then we're going to motion brown to the right and what you'll see is this is going to create this little you know switching concept right here now at the snap of the ball if i as the quarterback um, I'm going to try, and I'm just going to imitate Henry's user just by dropping this guy in a hook curl. Realize, obviously, his user is doing a lot more um, than just that. But I just want to show you what Salty was trying to hit. And you see the pressure does come in right there. Now, if he tries to throw, if he tries to throw the route over the middle of the, um, over the, middle of the field, what you'll notice is it's going to be an interception. Um, and so, and he does, he does, he tries to wait, he tries to basically roll out, hit this route, and what you'll notice is, Henry pretty much has it boxed, I mean, he pretty much has this play, the only thing that, um, Salty can even get 
and you're seeing that I think he just didn't get a good stack of that safety on the side either because he doesn't actually end up getting the pressure. You do notice that this pressure, this is why I thought this was so critical, by him blitzing that safety off the left side, he's going to be able to come in even if Salty blocks his running back, which is what Salty is doing. He's blocking his running back pretty much every play. So he's just going to, his solution is just to blitz that safety off that left side. So you're going to see again this route combination, very simple. And what you'll see here is. Um, right here that's where he's trying to throw it you see that should have been an interception and what salty was smart enough to do was to basically try to wait until he crosses ends up getting to throw at a sack but i'm telling you right now that's how close that was to being an interception that's how close that was to being an interception we'll head back over to game here like look at what i'm look at what you're seeing right here and this safety gets caught up if the safety doesn't get caught up the pressure is going to come in but what you'll notice here he does have the out route he does have the drag he probably could throw the drag right there i think he just doesn't want to risk it but you see i mean if he threw that right there that's an interception so that's what causes the rollout that's what causes the delay in the read and that's what causes henry to send the spy and uh, be able to lock up okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next play and this is second and ten uh ball on ball on uh his opponent's 40 yard line and he is now going to go to uh, a little bit more pressure. Uh, I think he, you know, he's kind of starting out the game, uh, shooting a little bit of pressure here. Now, this is actually really interesting. I want to show, I want to break this down. So this is his run defense, or like one of his run defenses. This is I'm not seeing this yet this year. Everyone that I've seen run run defense from Micro 35 will stand right here, or will stand right here. Henry is the only one that I've seen so far that will stand directly over the center, and he's going to stand exactly 10 yards off the ball. Okay, so he's going to Mike Blitz zero. Okay, uh, we're going to manually, so we're still sliding these guys in. And as you can see, these guys are going to shoot the gaps against this run. That's what I think is so, that's why the bringing those safeties down into the box makes such a big difference. And both your run D and your pass D allows more disguise in your pass D and allows better run defense support. So what you're going to see right here, we're shifting that line to the left. Obviously, we're crashing them out. And then um, what you'll notice on this play is he's actually going to take um, his left of screen safety and he's going to put him in inside third um, for this for this defense. And I think this is primarily just to protect against any post routes that Salty might try to dial up off of a play action, just trying to catch Henry in a bad run defense. But anyway, what you're going to notice here really quick, I just, I love the, I have not seen this, and I just thought this was so smart, because what he's going to do, notice how these safeties just shoot in. You see if the safety, right here, I believe the safety is in man coverage on the running back, but the safety will literally just shoot right in. He might even be in man coverage on the tight end, but I'm pretty sure he's in man coverage on the running back. And what you'll see is literally he's going to bust this right in the backfield. Um, look at the, look at the, um, Look at the gap integrity here. That's what I love about this run defense. It's not him having to do everything with his user. His user is basically just cleaning up the play, but his players have stopped the run, which is I haven't seen that much this year. And shout out to Henry. Like, this is amazing run defense. That's where I'm saying, like, he is just next level. And I want to show you this. In, I want to show you this in uh, practice mode, and I want to show it to you against a couple of different running schemes. I'm obviously going to show you it against the, the running plays that Salty ran in this game, but I just want to show it to you really quickly. So this is single back wing stack uh, from the uh, Carolina Carolina book, uh, which has the stretch in it. Obviously, we're going to go to single back wing, which has a couple of different running plays that he could run. Now, he right there ran the split belly uh, running play. And again, I just want to I just want to break this down because I just thought this was so um, I just thought this was so smart by Henry. Uh, so we're going to jump in here and I'm going to come out in that nickel three, three, five. And again, I'm pretty sure he was in Mike Blitz uh, zero from this look. And let me just go over to my notes here. And what you're going to see is this, again, second and 10, ball is on his opponent's 40-yard line, and Nickel 335 wide, and he's going to run Mike Blitz zero. Now, what he's going to do here is he's going to press his coverage. Actually, I'm sorry. He's going to, I think he might base align it um, just so he can get the proper 
coverage from from these guys. I don't think he actually has to base align it. I think what he, ends up happening is because he audible to it, he had already had these safeties down. But see how these safeties are going to be right in this little pocket right here. And then from there, we'll man align it. And uh, what I want to show you is we're going to shift that D-line to the left side, crashing out, shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. We're going to place the weak side, okay? That's what he's doing right here, placing the weak side safety in a um, in a deep blue zone. And then from there, uh, basically what he's going to do is he's going to essentially take triangle, and um, he probably would flip this so that triangle is on that left side. And let me double check and make sure that that's exactly what happened um, so that he has that that front. And, yes, that's exactly what happens. So you see him, him auto-flipping with that, flipping to the strong side, having that slot corner always on the strong side so that you have that numbers advantage. So you see right here, now we have pretty solid man coverage across the board. Henry's main responsibility is the running back at this point. So he's going to drop this guy into a middle third. And then what, again, he's going 10 yards backed off, and he is going to come down with his user. So what I want to show you, we're just going to run uh, split belly again, playmaker this run to the right, which is what Salty did. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see he's just going to come right down to the gap and shoot the gap, as you can see. See how wide open of a shoot that is? Because of the 10-yard space that he gives himself, that is why he is able to do this. And I'm going to show you that he can actually do this out of multiple running sets. This makes this an amazing, amazing run defense. So here it is again. He auto-flips his guys to the right uh, positioning on the field. And then he's going to move these guys kind of in. Like I said, these guys are just kind of like basically additional linebackers. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the halfback stretch out of this. Um, the halfback stretch alert smoke. Uh, and what you'll see is I'm going to run stretch to the right. Now at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is I'm just going to hand this off. And you see Henry's just going to come down with his user and basically clean this up. So I want to jump into instant replay and just show you why this is – I mean, this is just very, very awesome run defense from Henry right here. Watch these safeties on the outside. See how they're going to shoot down? See how they're going to play the run? And this is their man coverage. They're not in spies. They're in man-to-man -man coverage. And uh, what you'll see is they're getting just great sheds. They're going to come right off. Now, if I was, you know, I, obviously I would have to lab this a little bit better, understand the user. What Henry probably would have done is shot around with the stretch, kind of come down right here. Once he came out, he probably would have shot his guy out here to the right edge and clicked off. But you see the run lane. See how the lanes, the running lanes are cleaned up. Now, what you're probably thinking is, well, why wouldn't he, what if he just ran the ball down the middle, right? So we're going to go halfback dive. Well, I'm going to show you the same uh, basic run defense. Uh, again, we're going to bring these guys down right in here. And we're just putting this guy in a zone just to kind of protect against anything deep. Again, we're going off 10 yards. And what you'll notice is the center should avoid uh, Henry altogether. He's going to be able to come in and blow the dive up in the backfield. It's just a simple click off. He doesn't even have to make the tackle himself, which is so, so really, I just think it's amazing run defense. Um, so now what you're going to see is, well, what about, uh, what about like maybe straight up, uh, what about stretch? What about, you know, just straight up wing stack uh, stretch runs? Well, basically what you're going to see is now we're in a little bit more of a balanced look um, from the offensive side. Same kind of thing. We're going to bring these guys right in, right in off of these, off of these, uh, off of these outside uh, shoulders here of the outside linebackers. They're going to play the contains for us. They're going to shoot down on the run. We're going to crash that line out. Now to show this, I'm just going to put this guy in a, in a zone but what you'll notice here is uh, this is this is just stretched to the right. And what you'll notice, and it's a little bit challenging to do this with two controllers, but at the snap of the ball, watch what's going to happen. See how the stretch, and then Henry's just, and right there I didn't do a good job of it, but basically what Henry's going to do is he's just going to click off. And I could show you a better example of that, um, a better example of that on this next play here. So let me go to gun, wing stack. And what you're going to see here, again, we're just going to bring these safeties down down in the box so that they play it play it uh, fairly well. And he's going to go to stretch. And what you'll see here, snap of the ball. And all I'm going to do is just run out here and just click off. And you see it's going to be a free tackle. The computer is going to make the tackle. There's just nowhere to go on the run play. So that's what I'm talking about. Phenomenal run defense setup from Henry. And you see there, I mean, he's able to really just, I mean, just stymie the run and just take it away from, take that option away from Salty. So now on second and 10, Salty's going to go back to it. Once again, Henry's going to come in, make that great run defense. And um, I think he only gave up one yard on there, which was a lucky yard, to be honest. 
and uh, you're going to see we're going to continue to move through this first drive, and you're seeing just the, I just think, some really, really unique calls on defense that most people aren't doing. At least I haven't seen it yet. These Bringing these safeties down just really does something, I think, to the to the um, whole scheme. It really does make a big difference uh, in what you're doing. So here we go to smash return, right? Salty's going to smash return. He's got the post route over here. He's got the corner route, the smash, the all of that stuff over here on this right side of the field. Now what you're going to see is he's actually going to run a basic flood concept. And Henry um, is going to be in, I believe he is in cover two man. Yep, he's in cover two man right here. And what you'll notice is he is just running his basic coverage out of cover two man. Uh, as you can see, look at these outside corners or outside safeties. I'm sorry, they're going into the deep halves. You got the press coverage here on the right side. Uh, the one thing is, and this is actually a little tip that I thought was really cool uh, that Henry did, and we'll actually break this down. When you bluff blitz this year, you, you see how it shows. This is third down and nine. And you notice how it shows that all linebackers are blitzing because Salty has the identifier ability on his lineman. Henry knows this. And what Henry is going to do is kind of bluff him in the situation. And when you bluff blitz, it still shows or shows up to the defense like you're blitzing like normal. And so this is actually making Salty anticipate a five-man pressure. That's why he is setting up a basic flood concept. That's why he's blocking a running back. That's why he's doing some of the routes that he's doing on the field. Well, in this third and nine, what you're going to see is Henry's going to make a little adjustment on this. And I want you to watch this linebacker right here. Watch this right linebacker at the snap of the ball. So as soon as the ball is snapped, what you're going to notice here is we have good man coverage. Man coverage here, man coverage here, man coverage here. This guy was in man coverage, but since the running back blocked, he's going to drop over the middle and be a spy. So no, watch this linebacker. Watch this linebacker right here. Right? He's going to come. He's going to come. Um, whoops. Um, he is going to come down. You see that right there? See how he jumps back into coverage on A? He's going to jump all the way back into coverage on A and basically chase him down in a man-to-man -man coverage assignment. Okay? So what, what Henry does in this situation is he actually goes to um, a coverage defense out of coverage man. Now, Salty is able to get a nice route bounce and get him open. But I want to just come over here really quickly and jump into practice mode and show you what I saw happen on this play. So um, this, again, third and nine situation. He's going to go to, uh, and we're just going to go back out, come back out into the, the bunch. Um, Henry is going to go to, I believe that um, Salty actually is going to go to basically just a smash return concept with the post route and then obviously that corner route on the outside. Now what Henry's going to go to in this situation is a nice cover two man style of defense. And what he's going to do is he's going to press coverage. Obviously he's going to continue to bring these safeties down in the box. Um, and so he's got press all the way across. You can see right here. But what he wants to do is he wants to basically show that um, that um, he's going to blitz everybody. So essentially he's going to blitz all linebackers. Okay. And then from there, he's going to take this left of screen, this left of screen uh, guy, and he is going to uh, throw him into a purple zone, I believe. Let me double check my, my notes on this, uh, on this play here. But he is going to put either in man-to-man -man coverage or in a purple zone. I'm pretty sure he, he goes into a purple zone on this play. And then from there, this safety is going to be in that deep half. This safety is going to be in the deep half. And then what you're going to notice here is this. Um, this is his user, obviously. And let's see here. Let's back this up real quick. On this route bounce, we'll just show you. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's going to run him. Um, so, so what he does, which is actually interesting here, is he's going to take his nose guard and he's going to man him up on the running back. He's going to then drop this guy into a purple zone. He's going to take this guy on the right side and he's going to man him up onto Gronk. And then what you'll notice is um, he's going to basically pass commit. This is the simple coverage that you're going to see. So according to the defense what the, or what the offense sees with the identifier, he sees all these linebackers are blitzing. Oh, no, he's in coverage or, or he's in a man blitz. Well, at the snap of the ball, what ends up happening is um, you see that this guy goes into man coverage and um, he gets on the tight end. Now, Henry does have to overcompensate and kind of help that lineman in coverage because he can't cover the tight end corner route. But 
just a very unique coverage concept, I thought, and something that was very good for a third down situation, just like that right there. Um, it just so happened, you see here, I mean, he has everything covered. The one thing that ends up happening, if you look over here, if you watch this RB route, what happens is he's going to get a nice route bounce from the sideline. And unfortunately, Henry just doesn't get any pressure from that two-man rush, and um, he's going to be able to hit that little pocket right there and uh, get a good gain. But overall, I thought that was a very good, uh, still a very good coverage defense from Henry. So now what's going to happen is Salty's going to get on onto Henry's side of the field and um, is going to get a first and 10 situation. But you see, like, what I hope you're noticing on this drive is Salty's having to work for everything that he gets. Like, this is the first drive of the game, and there's still so much depth to what Henry's going to do. So right here, um, Henry is going to go to his run defense. As you can see, these safeties are here. He's going to back them off. Uh, and now what you'll notice, I really want you to watch. Watch the coverage on this because Salty's going to try to catch him in a bad run defense, right? Salty's going to try to catch him in a bad run defense, so he's going to motion this wide receiver over. Now, in my opinion, this is Henry's cue that he's passing because Salty doesn't really motion the receivers over any, when he runs. When he runs, he just snaps the ball. When he, and most people do this, right? You'll find this a lot. With people who audible down like this, when they, when they run the ball, they won't do a whole lot of motion. Um, when they pass the ball, that's when they'll start motioning people around, getting them on concepts and things like that. So uh, anyway, ball is on the 34-yard line, first and 10. And what you're going to notice here, this is just, I just think, uh, phenomenal defense once again. This is cover two man. Um, and, and what you'll see here is, you know, again, a nice, nice bluff here from Henry showing the pressure. But basically, we're going to slide both safeties in. We're going to shift the D-line to the left. We're going to shade coverage uh, outside. At least he might not have done that, but that's what I like to do out of press man. Uh, and then what you'll notice here is this left of screen defense men's going into a purple zone, going to drop into coverage right over here. This right of screen safety, I actually thought this was interesting. He's going to put this guy in man-to-man -man assignment on the running back. This is more for the run defense that Henry was setting up out of this specific defense. That's why the running back was shooting down, or, or that, that safety was shooting down on the running back. And then basically he's just going to use this middle linebacker over the center. So this is just straight man-to-man. -man. Now, since the running back blocks, the safety is going to come down. He's going to play that uh, play that little spy. And really, there's only one route that Henry has to cover here. Nothing else is open. And uh, he's going to get him. Now, all he's got to do is send this spy. And he is going to send the spy. It's actually a really good playmaker, I think. He's going to try to playmaker this guy. Um, but unfortunately, instead of playmaking him inside, he playmakers him up. If he playmakers him inside, he might have this. Anyway, Henry ends up getting the throw away. Ball uh, brings up a second and uh, thirty or uh, a second and ten from the thirty-four yard line. Uh, so now Salty is going to go to I think PA Dig Fork here. Um, actually, no, he's going to change his mind, go to double post, and this is just kind of a base setup out of double post right here. You have a nice little high low between your drag and your. Um, post route he's also kind of trying to catch henry in press coverage and take advantage of this route to johnson over the top what you'll notice is um, from this uh, henry again and this is where i just thought it was i just thought he did a good job of mixing up his play calls as well um, but this is mike blitz zero once again so shade coverage outside shade coverage over top right we're sitting five plus the safety because of the blocked running back he anticipated that very well uh, and what you're going to see is this, everybody else is manned up across the board. So he's got this covered. Okay, the drag, um, right here, the drag is open. Henry does a great job of recovering on this post route. Like, really, really good job of bailing to recover on that post route. But the one I thought he did a good job, like right here, uh, Salty has a touchdown. It's just good lurk by Henry, in my opinion, because he goes so high on this that he's not going to throw it. And then now he's trying to throw this RB route. But Henry, watch him scream down. Watch him just jump down on this drag. And um, by that time, the pressure sheds off. And he gets a throw out of sack. Almost gets an interception. And uh, brings up a third down and uh, a third down and 10. Um, and what you're going to see now is he's going to go um, back to that defense that he was just in on the last third down. And again, this is kind of his third down defense. The reason that he's doing this, watch, um, Henry, or I mean, you're noticing right here. See, see this right here? This is what I'm talking about, identifier. So Salty has uh, the identifier ability. I think it's on his center, okay? 
And what you're going to notice is Henry is blitzing all of these linebackers, right? So it's imitating as if he was running Mike Blitz 3. What you're going to notice is he's going to man up. This guy's going to man up on the running back. This guy's going into a purple zone to take any crossers away. This guy right here is going to man up on the tight end. And, um, and we're going to basically play uh, cover 2 man. Um, we're going we're gonna to basically play some cover 2 man defense. Um, so at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see here, you notice watch this guy now because he's a lineman he's going to actually engage with the line and then go into coverage and this is the only thing that's the issue and you're going to see salty's going to actually hit him right here but um, you're going to see this is basically smash return uh, and you see this linebacker's in man coverage on the tight end but he's five yards separate from him because he engaged with the lineman i'm not sure if that's because henry did not pass commit or what but what you're going to see here is henry's going to actually run with this corner route really really well the problem is at this point right here, he's anticipating that Salty's going to this route right here. So he ends up trying to jump down on the in route and ends up leaving this wide open. Um, and that little movement, I thought that was, eh, I don't know. I mean, I just thought that was a bad decision by Henry. I think he was trying to get a turnover. Anyway, Salty ends up hitting him and goes down to the three-yard line. Uh, really, really, really good. And what you're going to see now is Henry's actually going to jump into some uh, some red zone defense out of the big nickel over G. Now, if you've watched Henry before this game, I've actually seen him running a lot of big nickel over G this year. And this is kind of Salty's red zone play. This is a specific defense for this red zone play. But what you're going to notice is he's shifting the big nickel over G to the left, basically. It's auto flip, so he has a slot corner there. He's not showing blitz. He's just using that opposite side safety and um, trying to shoot. As you can see here, he's just trying to shoot this run to the quarterback, and he's able to get a pretty good stop right here. Uh, you'll see Salty's going to go to it one more time, um, and, 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 and basically Henry's going to run the same run the same thing. This time you see here he's going to flip it. See the flip right here? Now watch the adjustments. You see right here. Now one thing I don't understand right here is why does he pinch his line instead of shift them? Um, on that right side, I don't know if he knows something. He probably knows something that I don't know about that, but I don't know. I don't understand that decision because basically Salty's giving him the same look. He's just giving him the same look flipped. And as you can see here, both of these guys are blitzing. He's basically running a cover two, uh, cover two style defense off this edge. At the snap of the ball, if he sees run, he's probably clicking that right stick in because when you click the right stick in, and the it basically blitzes everybody um, if they're running. Anyway, what you're going to see here, he goes to that again and again. Um, Henry's defense holds up. It's going to bring down a third down and uh, a third down and two. And right here, that's going to be an interesting uh, play call right here that you're going to see from from Salty. But basically, he's just going to go to a basic inside zone. And uh, I thought this was actually a really good call by Salty. Uh, but what you'll notice here is he's going to motion that tight end over to the left, get an, an extra blocker. And right here, I mean, Henry just, I mean, just barely misses the shoot, and uh, Salty's able to get on the board. But what I hope you took away from that, and this is, all of this stuff happened in the first drive. All of this stuff happened in the first drive. Um, that's what I think is just so crazy about how well Henry played, uh, Henry really played defense. Um, he was able to really get a good handle on what Salty was going to run. he Salty had to really work the ball up and down the field. I mean, it was not an easy drive by any means. Um, and so what this is going to do is it actually really informs Henry well for what's about to occur. So uh, anyways, we're going to jump into the second drive that Salty has. And here you're going to see a lot of this is going to start to kind of be the same thing over and over again. But uh, right now, first and 10, ball in the 25, middle hash. Uh, Salty's just going to see if he, he's just going to basically test Henry's run defense. So he's going to run the belly again. This time he's going to flip it. You see Henry with that 10 yard off. He's got those safeties down. And you'll notice here, uh, same basic thing. He's going to shoot down to the middle of the gaps. These guys are going to fly in off the edge and be able to take that away. Just excellent run defense from Henry. I thought that was just such a great, um, I just thought that was so smart. I don't know how I didn't think about trying that. Um, before this game, but I'm definitely going to be adding that element of that to my nickel 335 that, that I run. I just thought that was really, really excellent, uh, excellent defense by him. Um, now, in the second and 13, 
um, balls on the 22, middle of the field. He's going to go to Mike Blitz 3. Now, this is where Henry, um, when Henry starts to get comfortable with what you're doing, what you'll notice is he'll run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage for the first couple drives. Once he starts to see what you're doing, from my from my understanding of how he's going to play you, oftentimes he's going to start to shift to the zone coverage and begin to start to spot, take away things, and play a little chess with you um, on the defensive side of the ball. And that's exactly what he's going to do right here. He's going to go to Mike Blitz 3. He's going to press coverage. He's going to manually slide both of these safeties into the box, shift that D-line to the left side, um, shade that coverage over top, and he's going to use this middle linebacker right over this right of screen guys so you see here this is a three deep three deep okay so you got your deep here deep here and deep here and three underneath you got your underneath here his user and then you got this other underneath coverage right here so a little five man zone blitz notice that this actually holds this route down now on this left side you see that this flat um, is not going to hold this route down okay so it just depends on the different routes that he has in the field but as you can see right here this zone blitz definitely confuses salty he's not able to hit this uh x receiver x might have been open um for the pass lead up but he ends up throwing it away he didn't like the look that's the first time henry's gone to zone all game long and now um we're actually going to see him go to uh i think the defense that he wants to run uh I think the defense that he really wants to be in, and that is the Dime 146. And uh, the reason is just he's going to send um, just very good pressure from Dime 146. It's an obvious passing situation for Salty on third and 13. Salty doesn't show any signs of audibling down. Henry's in this DB, I'm pretty sure DB Sting 2 buzz. Uh, and what you're going to see from this is basically, um, and you see, I think actually this was just cover three sky. I'm sorry. This was just cover three sky, I'm pretty sure. But. Uh, Basically, he rolls the coverage. So he's got this deep half over here. He's got this guy in a in probably either inside quarter or deep half right here and here. Sending pressure right in this little pocket right here. And Salty does a good job hitting that tight end. Um, hitting that tight end really quick up the seam for uh, a gain of 16 against that blitz. I thought he did a really good job on that play. Um, but what you'll see is Henry's going to get back into the nickel 3-3-5 wide, bring the safeties down. And uh, on this first and 10 play, now he's going to go to Mike Blitz 3 again. So once again, notice this is zone coverage, as you can see right here. Now, Henry actually does something very interesting. He rolls a coverage. So what, it, what that means by rolling the coverage, he's going to put this guy in a deep half zone. He's got this guy in a cloud flat, so he's still in a 3 deep, 3 under. 1, 2, 3. 3 deep. This time he's going to leave that little cloud flat or purple zone on this right side, has that cloud flat coverage on that side, and then he's using over the middle of the field. Um, Salty's going to end up having to scramble out of the pocket and has to throw it away once again. Another really good defensive step by Henry. I mean, I think at the end of the, the, end of the game, Salty literally completed, I believe, eight passes. Um, if I have the, 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 the statistics right, by the end of this game, you'll see um, he only completed eight passes. Um, which I thought just amazing defense because he passed like 30 times. That's the thing. He passed like 30 times. Anyway, ball in the 38 right here. Um, and we're going to go to, let's see, second attempt. We're going to go to Mike Blitz 3 again. Henry's starting to see he doesn't like that zone look. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to run basically a Mabel coverage out of it. So we're going to double flat both of our sidelines. We've got the cover three shell over the top. We're going to send um, We're going to send a total of three people. As you see here, we're just double flatting on this right, double flatting on the left. Uh, and as you can see, um, you're just going to see really, really solid lockdown defense right here. Now, on this one, I think he actually manned this guy up on the tight end um, just because he didn't want any corner routes or anything like that to occur. And he ends up getting the fumble, and Salty gets, I think, kind of lucky um, and ends up recovering with his tackle and actually gaining seven yards out of the play. But, again, this is just what I'm talking about. I mean, this is – this is defensive dominance. Even though Salty scored seven, it was a not a struggling seven, but it was a seven that was not did not come easy. And now you're starting to see on the second drive right here, Henry's starting to really clamp down on what what he's wanting to do. Um, and now what he's going to do, he's ran zone a couple times, and now you're going to see he's going to mix in some man coverage. He's going to go to that cover two man setup, and here we're just going to send. 
Um, we're just going to send four. This is just basic cover two man. What I like about what he did, though, was he actually converted this into a cover one, and he put a purple zone right over here. So he put this outside right corner safety on a purple to take away anything over there, put the left side guy on that inside third so he could take away the post route. And then basically what you see is he's going to use the crossing route. There's nothing open. Very, very solid defense. Salty tries to force it. And Henry swats it away. I thought that could have been an interception um, had he had clicked on right there. But that's going to bring up a fourth and three. And Salty does come up with some crucial, like, just kind of, I think, dots that kept him in the game. Uh, and this is an example of one of those. This is fourth and three. Uh, ball on the 44-yard line, uh, right hash. And Henry's going to go to Mike Blitz three. Now, what, she's, what you're going to notice is he is going to go to the – um, the coverage setup out of this, and run that double flat again. So this is double flat. You can see right here, double flat on both sides. Got the three deep coverage, and then he's going to lurk the middle of the field. Uh, and what you'll see here is, and I just thought, right, like right at this point, right at this point right here, you have to bail to this post route. Uh, I felt like I think Henry was thinking there might have been an end run. I'm not sure, but if you watch his user, he's, I don't know what he's trying to get right here. See how he comes down? I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe he's looking for the scramble, but Salty's able to fit this in a very tight window. I mean, very, very tight window. Ends up hitting the post route. The acrobat does not do anything for Henry, and he's able to get a a pretty good first down, like to be honest. I mean, I thought that was a, I thought that was a decent dot, uh, or not dot, but I thought that was a decent, um, just a decent play on both sides. I just think, I just think Henry should have jumped to that post, uh, but I think instead he was jumping down to kind of hang, take away the QB scramble. Anyway, um, first and ten there, uh, salty kind of quick snaps, quick snaps Henry just to see if he can get an outside zone. You're not going to get an outside zone on the nickel three three five wide. The defense is just too strong against the um, against the uh, run, in my opinion. So we're going to be in second and 14 here. And what you're going to notice is now Henry is going to go to that Mike Blitz zero, that cover zero look, and he's going to send. Again, he starts to notice this right here. So he's going to start to send that safety off the edge. So we've got basically man coverage across the board, literally just straight man coverage. He's coming down right here. This route right here is open, as you can see right there. But what you'll notice he does, which I thought this was really smart, is – he instead of man coveraging here because he's been noticing that salty likes to um, throw crossing routes to the tight end he actually drops this guy into either an outside quarter or a deep third or a deep half it might be in a deep half but you see how he drops him into a zone and then right here uh, salty gets a little bit aggressive over aggressive in my opinion tries to hit him over the top and henry's going to get that pick every day of the week and now you're going to start to see the clamps are just going to start to be put down on him and he's able to uh, able to go down. Now, what you'll notice from Henry is he's going to actually score really, really quickly here. And then he's going to go to a different defense. And I'm actually going to grab it in practice mode and break it down for you. Uh, but I want to just show you. So he's going to score real quick. He's going to hit this deep streak over the top and get a one-play touchdown. So he's got uh, – Salty has 21 seconds here. And Salty's going to make a massive mistake, in my opinion. Um, what Henry is going to do – is he is going to shift um, into basically a max coverage uh, style of defense. And I'm pretty sure that he's putting his zone drops uh, a little bit deeper just to protect against the deep route. But what you're going to notice here is he is going to go to the big nickel over G and basically play kind of a shed defense, cover four quarters across the board. So he's going to have cover four across the board, and then he's going to have purple zones that are going to drop back. Um, and I'm, I'm not, again, I'm, I'm speculating here a little bit, but I'm pretty sure he had his zone drop set to drop these back to 25 or to 30 yards and basically going to say you can have the underneath. So what you'll notice here, this is just cover five quarters, basically, just straight cover five. You see you've got a deep quarter, a deep quarter, or inside quarter, inside quarter, inside quarter. He's also got this guy right here on inside third. This guy over here is in a cloud flat, I believe. Uh, as you can see, he's kind of playing that out route. And then Henry's job is basically anything over here um, or anything underneath. And so Henry's doing his job right here. He's just going to lurk underneath. And what you're going to notice is uh, Salty gets a little greedy, and he's going to try to hit this route right here. Now, he gets a bad throw, 
Okay, he does get a bad throw, gets a little bit of a – he high points it, which I don't know why he high points it right here. I think he's trying to get it over Taylor Mays. But he gets a bad throw. That inside corner is going to jump that all day long, and Henry gets an interception. So I just want to show you this, and he comes back to this defense later on in the game. But I just want to show you um, what we're seeing from Henry and why I think it's just so powerful. So he's going to come out in this uh, big nickel, uh, big nickel over G, and what you're going to see is he's going to run this um, outside, uh, or I'm sorry, not cover four palms, but cover four quarter uh, defense. And basically, what I think he was doing, I, I could be t completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was turning these into cloud flats on the outside, and then essentially taking this guy, dropping him into a deep blue zone. Pinching his line, crashing his line out, and then just basically hovering uh, right here with the with the with the uh, linebacker that's on the running back side, and then basically just lurking right over the middle here. And you see Salty just tries to fit this in. You see the sheds are just so good from Big Nickel over G, and it's one of those um, coverages that can really start to wall off and take those things away. So big stop by Henry, and um, and what you're going to see now is this is a huge momentum shift. Right, he was hanging with him. Now Henry's going to get three points going into halftime and going to go up by two possessions. And right now it just looks like I think Henry's about to put the glove on to Salty in this game. And we're only halfway through this game, but you notice just how much how much uh, detail that Henry's been able to you know really uh, effectively go to in this. So uh, obviously Salty's coming out with the ball first first half. And um, this is where you're going to start to see, again, Henry's going to mix in more zone coverage because Salty's shown that he doesn't really like zone coverage uh, and really doesn't, uh, especially when you mix it in the right time. So he goes to Mike Blitz 3 here, simple 3 deep 3 in their zone. Um, he's got these clouds here that do play these corner routes. They're not shaded purples, so they do play them. And then what you're going to see is Henry's basically got to get down on this right here and uh, does a good job of doing that. He actually is able to complete it uh, for about 3 to 5 or I'm sorry, about seven yards there. And um, now Henry's going to go to that nickel three through five wide, cover two man set up right here, bring these safeties down off the box, and um, basically just running uh, coverage defense really here. You've got, uh, this is true coverage D if I've ever seen it, right? We've got a curl flat here. We've got, um, you know, usering over the middle. We're, we're blitzing three people. And then uh, this is great click off, I thought, by Henry. Uh, way to click off and then basically just do his assignment, which I think, you know, one of the little key things, when your quarterback's rolling out of the pocket, if you click off of your guy, especially if he's on a blitz, it's a great way to basically send the spy, um, even though you don't have a spy. So you basically don't have to um, really spy the defense in this situation. So now what you're going to see here... Third down and three. Henry goes to that third down defense um, where he blitzes both of these outside guys. So it kind of appears like it could be pressure, but in all reality, it's actually just Mike Blitz three. Drops a covered shell of it uh, out here, and um, Salty actually ends up hitting the flat, and he actually ends up scoring on this. I thought he kind of got you know good blocking here, but he does end up scoring and showing a little bit of fight, but Henry's about to just put him away. On this next drive this next drive by Henry um, is why I think Henry's one of the best players in Madden uh, I think he might be the best player in Madden I mean he is just so balanced um, and he can just I mean he literally just plays so well he's like a robot on both sides of the ball just always executes at a high level and you see they're able to put him away take most of the third quarter with him and um, let me just jump down um, and get to the rest of my notes here but what you'll see here, first and 10 on the opponent 25-yard line in the middle hash. Um, and basically, Henry's going to go to that cover two man coverage setup uh, with the curl flat there. He's got that linebacker going into coverage or that defensive lineman into coverage on him. And you see, this is what I'm talking about, 8 for 20. 8 for 20. 8 for 20. He's basically had two big plays, and and that's been it. And, um, and, and Henry's been able to really, I think, just put the clamps down on him. And you'll see it continue here. Um, this is Mike Blitz zero, and he turns this into that coverage, right? He's got that cover one coverage, so you can't run anything over the top. Can't hit me with a post. Can't hit me with any of that stuff. He comes down and forces another throw away. I don't know what the tally is on throwaways, but I think he's got to have at least forced over 10 throwaways this, um, this game. I mean, just been amazing to watch this defense just clamp down. Now, uh, what you're going to see here, Dime 146, this situation is obviously a passing situation. 
And um, I would actually like to see Salty kind of audible down, but I just think he wasn't in that mindset. Because you see here, he does have the two running backs, but he's not going to audible down. And um, what you're going to notice here, we're going to send that cover. This is cover three. Uh, Sky is going to send a four, uh, or I'm sorry, a five man pressure off this right edge. Um, and then the six man, this blitzing linebacker is going to allow this guy to come in. You see right there, there's the pressure. Now, from the coverage perspective, you've got cover three, cover three, cover three. This guy's in the middle of the field. This guy's on a cloud or on a purple, and then he's basically usering this. He's got to get to that post route. He doesn't. Um, that probably would have been an interception had he actually got the ball out because he was throwing to the post route. The safety was coming down to play it on that three wreck and uh, almost had an interception right there. So now fourth and ten, and this is where I think Henry just closes the game. This is where he truly closes the game. Fourth and ten right here. Now watch what's going to happen. He's going to play a very aggressive style of dime one four six defense right here. He's going to basically come out and he's going to blitz everybody. He's going to watch watch what happens here. So he's going to send that same pressure. This is a simple it's four man coming off the off the right four four man pressure coming off the right and then this backer over here. Watch the running back. Who's the running back blocking? You see that he's blocking the blitzing linebacker. So you see this guy's going to get that edge free. He's um, salty here slides to the left because he's trying to slide himself away from the pressure but because henry is containing it allows him to get this instant shed right here he's in cover one press if salty has any more time in the pocket this might be a touchdown over the top to terry mclaurin but because he gets that instant shed he gets the sack and the fumble and basically that's it gg's in the chat the game is pretty much over from that point it's cooked and uh henry's actually going to um going to hit a nice little rollout uh, corner uh, for a touchdown, go up 31 to 14. And, you know, at this point, it is just dire for Salty. Now, um, Salty's going to try to stand up for himself a little bit here. You see, there's the corner route that Henry hit for the touchdown. But from this point forward, um, Henry just really, I think, just starts to put the clamps on him. And he, he, you'll see, he'll drop multiple picks on this drive. But he's going back to nickel 335 wide here. That's his base first down, second down defense from Mike Blitz 3. Um, going to go to the coverage, set up the Mabel coverage. I love that. Um, just kind of playing the soft coverage shell. Forces yet another throw away. I think you see there, 8 for 23 at the top uh, at the top of your screen. Like, there's just no... I'm, I'm just telling you, man, this is just... I mean, it's just crazy how many, how many times he's forced him to throw the ball away. To me, is wild. It speaks to his great defensive philosophy and strategy. Um, nickel 35 wide, Mike Blitz 3. Again, here we got the double flat coverage on that side. Um, he actually right here, um, I thought, should have should have got interception. Ends up dropping an interception over the middle of the field and uh, brings up a third down and 10. And he is going to go back into that dime 146. And these obvious passing downs, he loves to be in dime 146. And right here, he's going to go to cover one robber. He's going to send that pressure. Um, and you see here, this this little five-man uh, pressure, you see he's going to send it right off that outside. Um, this time, the running back does pick it up, uh, but he's got cover one robber press. Now, watch. You see Salty is trying to hit this fade right here. I don't know what Salty's thinking, honestly. Um, I mean, I guess, well, I guess I can see it. He's throwing the post. You see that this um, zone from that right side safety at a cover one robber um, just does a great job. And right here... Um, I just, man, that's a, that's a, that's a book, man. That's a pick. Um, just not able to get the catch, but you see, I mean, Henry just, you know, you see the frustration right here a little bit on his face because he knows that that was a box. That was a pick. Um, that was, you know, basically, you know, Gigi's in the chat. I'm gonna get the ball back. I'm gonna clock out. So right here, I don't know why he does this, but he is going to come back out. Um, he is going to come back out in that, uh, dime one, four, six this time. But this is a little bit of a changeup for Henry. You're going to see that he's going to go to uh, DB Sting 2 Buzz, I believe. He's going to basically run cover 2 over the top here. Now watch the corners, and watch this left side corner in, in particular. Notice that he's in a blitz, right? So it's telling Salty that the corner is in a blitz, when in reality, he's actually not. He's going into coverage. He bluff blitzed him. He bluff blitzed both of these, uh, or he bluff blitzed this left side corner. So he's just sending the standard five-man pressure in hopes that Salty will basically block this tight end. Obviously, Salty doesn't block the tight end right here. And um, in this situation right here, I think Henry got a little bit, just a little bit, um, I don't know. I mean, this was fine, basically. I mean, it's just good defense. You see, he's got everything bagged, 
but this corner route ends up getting over that soft squat zone or that cover two zone on that left side um, for a pretty good read there and uh, about a 35 yard corner. Uh, and so he's you know completed a grand total of nine passes. You know I'm not just telling you the the defense was turned up uh, in this game. I just thought man. If you if you you know if you think Henry's just an offensive player after this game, you weren't paying attention to what was happening. I mean, I think he might be one of the he might be right there with Joke as far as best defense in Madden right now. But he's going to go to Mike Woods three, change it up with his own coverage, and force yet another throw away. As you can see, I mean, this is crazy. He's forced probably 15, uh, 15 to seventeen throwaways on this uh, on this game alone. I mean, it just it completely bagged. Um, for the most part, this offense has dropped several interceptions as well. Um, what you're going to see here, second and 10, Nick with 335 wide. He's going to go back to that Mike Blitz. Just running Mabel coverage. Simple, right? Simple defense here. Just keeping everything in front of him, keeping the clock moving. And there's just nothing. There's just nothing there. And there's just nothing there. I mean, Salty is not. He's choosing to continue to try to force the flood concepts. Henry is obviously prepared for that. And, um, and Salty is, is, you know, forcing yet another throwaway. I think we're at least over 15 throwaways at this point. Um, here he tries to go to a weak, tries to basically weak box him out of down one four six, And Henry's smart. I think Henry ran commit right there. Um, just to just to kind of let him know that he, you know, he will do that. Um, this brings up a 4th and 11. Uh, and now on this 4th and 11 right here, um, this is where, you know, again, the game basically gets closed out, um, and we'll show you one other. We'll show you one last drive because he does do something a little bit different that I thought was really cool. But he's going to go to dime one four six, and he goes back to that DB sting two buzz. Now I want you to watch the corners um, on this play right here. So you take a look here, watch the front. You see that he's sending everybody. He's sending one, two, three, four, five, six guys at the quarterback. Okay, he's got his user, and this is basic cover two. We're gonna run our, um, we're gonna run our our cloud here. Now, what I like, what he does a good job of. I think he actually rolls this into a little bit because Salty has not streaked anyone on this side of the field the whole game. He's not sent anyone deep on this side of the field. He's only sending people deep on this side of the field um, on the bunch side. So what he does is basically cover threes the bunch side, cover twos this left side with the yellow um, to take away any seam streaks, and the pressure comes home before he can do anything and um, is able to get the box and able to get the stop once again uh, holds on defense. Now right here, uh, this is just an amazing punt. But with 2 minutes and 22 seconds left, he's going to go back into the big nickel over G, but he's actually going to go to um, a different defense now, and this is what he's going to basically run for the remainder of the game if you'll take a look at what he's going to do. Um, this is just simple game management. I, I love this game management by, by Henry. And I, again, I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure that he was doing zone drops, right? I'm pretty sure that he was doing that. But uh, what you'll notice right here is this is where he really starts to, you know, just kind of close off the outside. That's the whole idea. Keep everything in the middle of the field, let it run clock, and get sheds. So this is Big Nick over G. And basically all he's doing is he is basically pinching his line, crashing his line out. He's taking the um, weak side defensive end and dropping him into a flat zone. And then he's got these cloud flats on the outside, and he's taking that opposite middle linebacker and putting him into a deep blue. I'm going to jump over here to practice mode for our last setup of this breakdown, and I'm going to show you exactly what he was doing. So um, he comes out in big nickel over G. He's going to audible to that cover two defense. And basically he's just going to pinch his line. He's going to crash his line out. And wherever the um, – he actually um, actually really likes to baseline this, this look just so that he can kind of contain that outside. But what you'll see he's going to do is the linebacker opposite of the running back side. So in this situation it will be Summers. He's going to throw him into a deep blue zone. Then he's going to take his slot corners, and he is going to basically put them into uh, flat zone. So he's going to basically double flat uh, both sides of the field. And you'll see there's just not very, you know, there's just not a window to throw. You, you can't throw to the outside against this look, and uh, you're going to see he's going to run this over and over again. Now, he might have been putting um, his, he might have been putting them in, in curl flat zones, um, and, and then having the cloud flat shaded back at like 25 to 30 yards and having the curl flat zones be um, be like five yards. Um, that might have been something he was doing. Um, I honestly couldn't tell if he was just doing hard flat and cloud flat or if he was doing actual zone drops because of stuff like that right there. You see the smoke screen being able to pull down the cloud 
but and you'll see the rest of this game will just kind of let it roll but that's what he's going to do i mean he's going to do that over and over again um, i'm pretty sure he literally does not call a different defense um, for the rest for the remainder of the game he's literally going to be in that cover two defense pretty much the only the only other defense that he's going to go to is in a key situation um in a key situation down here he's going to go to uh, the dime 146 to basically close out the game but as we recap recap this really quickly uh what i think you what i want you to take away from henry is i want you to take away some of the key little things he was doing number one blitzing additional safeties on the side if the running back blocks that's something that you could try uh number two mixing up your man and zone and really using zone using man as a coverage that can kind of allow you to gain information about your opponent. That's what he did a lot in the first half. He was in a lot of man coverage in the first half, trying to basically fill out his opponent and gain information, gain intel on what his opponent was doing. Then in the second half, what he was able to do was he shifted to a little bit more zone defense, right? And he was able to basically lock up a lot of the route combinations that Salty was using because uh, basically he was you know, kind of being uh, told what those routes were that he needed to guard. And then once you had the game in hand, running a nice little closeout defense, a defense that really um, makes it hard to move the ball up and down the field um, and playing a very simple game plan. I thought that, you know, Henry wasn't doing anything crazy on defense, but what he was doing was very, very effective, very simple. He kept his adjustments very simple. He did a great job of using the middle of the field, understanding I think there was a couple of mistakes that he did make on defense with his user, and I think those mistakes were what led to the 14 points by Salty. But that being said, there were very few mistakes from Henry, and that's what you're going to find with him as a defensive player and what I love about watching him play. It's not necessarily that he does things that just wow you, even though he will do that. What it is is he literally just does not make mistakes. He very rarely makes middle mistakes. I think in this game, he literally made four mistakes. Salty has made like 15, right? And it's not because Salty's, you know, it's not because they're that big of a talent desperation because there's not. What I'm trying to get at here is if you want to be elite, a defensive player, it's not just about having a nano blitz. It's not just about having, you know, these glitches or any of that stuff. What it's about is it's about limiting your mistakes and, Understanding as a defense player, this is what I love about way Henry plays defense. He's going to give up something. He's okay with that. It's choosing and being selective about what it is you're going to give up, when you're going to give it up, and how you're going to take it away. Those are the chess match things that I saw in Henry's game that I just didn't see in Salty. If you actually go back and watch the tape, Salty runs the same defense the majority of the game because Salty's kind of, at least in my opinion, and this is the key moment right here, he's going to go to DB Sting 2 Buzz. Uh, from nine one four six, I just want you to watch this play real quick, um, and this is just the key moment of the game. This is, I mean, this is where, just again, putting the clamps down on him. Um, in these obvious situ passing situations, he was able to go to dime one four six. So he goes to DB Sting, DB Sting two buzz. I'm sorry, he sends everybody. He sends six right up here. He's got cover two on the outside with soft. These are soft squat cover two zones. So you see how this guy's going to follow the slant, uh, and then just basically the deep halves. And Salty right here um, is, I don't know who he's throwing to. I don't really know who he's throwing to. Maybe he's throwing away or what. Maybe he's trying to hit this corner route. But throw out a sack, interception, and Henry could have ran it back for a pick six. It could have been 38-14. to 14, um, But ends up, um, ends up taking the title so uh, anyways guys if you want to join um, if you want to join our text message membership we actually have a big nickel over g defense um, that is in there that is very similar to what this is it's a little bit different but um, it uses some of the same concepts so if you want to get those tips uh, we send out free tips with that every single week they're typically uh, longer in, in length and a little bit more in depth videos than what we normally do on youtube uh, obviously with these um, pro series here that we've been doing uh, we've, I've been trying to do it really, really in-depth and just kind of show you guys uh, what's been going on. But my number is 812-216-3644 if you want to join that text message membership. I hope you learned something today. Uh, put a lot of energy into this video. And uh, I just think that Henry is a really, really, really good defensive mind. One of the things that he really did a great job of and one of the things that I'm going to try to start to do that I've learned from both Henry and Dat Boy, who are the number one defensive players in their perspective club championship uh, divisions what i've learned from both watching both of those players play is defense and I've, I, I guess i've been reminded of it defense is not necessarily about being able to stop every single thing your opponent's going to do 
It's about being able to stop the right things at the right time and about choosing and being selective about what you're going to give up. And so hopefully you're able to take that away from today's uh, today's uh, video and lab session. Hopefully you saw something that you can implement from Nick, his nickel 335 wide, his big nickel over G, or his dime 146. Uh, we've broken down the dime 146 before. Uh, real quick before we go, we'll just break it down for you really, really quickly. And we might put this defense in our... Um, we might put this defense in our um, taxi membership as well for those guys. But I just want to show you. It's a, it's a very simple blitz. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, but basically, it's Dime 146. He was coming out in either the DB Sting 2, um, or I'm sorry, either the Cover 2 Sink or the Cover 3 Sky. I'm sorry, not the DB Sting 2. So he was he was coming out in Cover 2 Sink. He was making it look like DB Sting 2, but he was coming out in Cover Sink. So what you would see is basically he would press coverage. Um, base align, press coverage essentially was what the look was. And then he would blitz all of his linebackers, okay? And then from here, from this point right here, um, you want to make sure you're spreading your linebackers, all that fun stuff. And then essentially, you're going to slide in this, this blitzing slot corner. Now, you want the linebackers out of the gaps. You don't want them over the center. And basically, he was using this guy right here and effectively just running down and you see the pressure will typically come screaming in off that right edge. Now, one of the reasons it might not have come in right there was just because I, I had a little bit of a bad setup. Uh, again, you want to make sure that you are, um, you don't want to base on, I'm sorry, you want to man align it. Uh, but basically, you want to get that, that spread look, uh, and then you basically want to, you know, blitz this guy in. Now, he was actually shifting his lineman over just to get an even additional overload, something like this right here. And what you'll see is this should get pretty decent uh, heat off that right edge. If it doesn't come in, it's still going to get really, really good sheds and uh, be very effective. And then the six-man version of this blitz uh, setup was, um, you see here, shift, spread the line, then shift it to the right. Uh, and then basically what you would see is these guys would be kind of right in this little pocket right here. And then he would basically set these, send these guys in off the edge. A lot of this has to do with the placement of this, which we actually have a video out on this blitz and exactly how to set it up. But just wanted to give you kind of a quick little glimpse of what he was doing and why it was working. But it's basically um, simply what you're doing here is you're just, um, let me show you really quick one more time before we jump out. But basically you're just spreading, you know, man aligning, pressing, uh, spreading your line. That's why I like personally to come out in DB Sting too, um, just because it puts the linebackers in a better position. And then maybe audibly to cover two sink, but um, and because we have auto flip on, um, you see that as well being a little bit of a factor. All those things kind of play uh, into this. But we kind of want this look right here. We want something like this right here. And what you'll see here is we should get uh, pretty good heat off that edge. So um, we do have a video out on that. If you want that, just shoot me a text. I can shoot you a link to the whole breakdown of the Dime 146. But that was the basic heat that he was running. We post that video um, a long time ago, actually. So it was one of the, it's been one of the best defenses for year, all year long. It's just most people don't run it in, in competitive because a lot of people are audibly down against it. And you could get quote unquote weak box, but when you're in an obvious passing situation, it's great to have that in your arsenal. So just a phenomenal defensive performance by Henry, in my opinion. A lot that you can learn from this. We will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We also have another video coming out at 8 o'clock. We did some breakdowns on Fancy. We did some breakdowns uh, today on those on uh, the TNC guys as well. Some really good stuff. I just saw a lot of really, really high-level Madden played yesterday, and I just wanted to break down as much as I could for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I love breaking these down. I love studying the film uh, with this. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, please let me know in the comments, and I'll continue to do them. If you don't enjoy them, then I'll do them for myself and I won't post them. It'll be no big deal. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for your time and support. I really appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions about any of the stuff discussed in the video, just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. And um, also, if you haven't already joined my community Discord, that's a great place to be able to lab with other Madden players and basically talk Madden 24-7. You can do that in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown, and we'll see you on stream tonight on our YouTube live stream at at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you're not in the Discord, we typically will let our Discord members know when we go live, and we also typically will play Madden with our Discord members, head-to-head um, -head matches with our subs. So thanks for your time, guys, and we'll see you on stream.